Hello everyone. Till now we have seen what is sharing, so it's time for us to know how it works. So let's begin with the simplest molecule formed due to sharing. Now we know hydrogen has only one electron in its outermost shell and it needs one more electron to gain the nearest noble gas configuration. So two hydrogen atoms will share the electrons and get balanced to form a hydrogen molecule. Now this will also allow the two hydrogen atoms to gain the nearest noble gas configuration that is of helium. Now here you can see that the hydrogen has one electron in its outermost shell and one proton in its nucleus. Now two hydrogen atoms will combine and share their electrons to get balance and attain the nearest noble gas configuration. Now you can represent them by a single bond since they are sharing one electron each. We have also the dot structure represented here. Now the two dots represent one electron each of each atom. Now atoms can also share two or three electrons. We will be seeing the examples ahead. So let's move on to our next example which is of oxygen. Now oxygen molecule is formed by a double bond. We know that oxygen has an atomic number of 8, so its electronic configuration will be 2 and 6. From the configuration itself, we know that it will need 2 more electrons to gain the nearest noble gas configuration, which is of neon. So, it will share 2 electrons from the another oxygen atom to gain the nearest noble gas configuration. From the diagram, you can see that two electrons are shared by each oxygen atom. Now the four electrons remaining are not taking part in sharing because it is not required. So you see that the electronic configuration is similar to neon. Now three electrons are also shared by the atoms. Like when we talk of the case of nitrogen. We know nitrogen has an electronic configuration of two and five. Now here you can see that it requires three electrons to balance or to gain the nearest noble gas configuration of neon. So it will share three more electrons from the another nitrogen atom to stabilize its octet. So here you can see that the three electrons are shared by each nitrogen atom. So we can say that two and three electrons are also shared by the atoms of an element. But this is their maximum limit. Now you must be thinking from the above examples that sharing of electrons between the atoms occur between the same element. But that is not true. Sharing of electrons can occur between various elements. So we are going to see the examples of that only. Now we are going to see two examples of water molecule and ammonia molecule. So let's see them one by one. Now we are going to see the water molecule. We know it has a general formula of H2O. Now water is composed of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Oxygen needs to share two electrons so as to attain stability and hydrogen needs one electron so it will share one electron. And in this way all the three atoms will share and balance themselves to form a water molecule. Now let's see. Another example which is similar or follows the similar principle like water which is of ammonia. Now ammonia is composed of one nitrogen atom and three hydrogen atom. We also know that nitrogen needs to share three electrons so as to gain a noble gas electronic configuration. So it will share one electron each with the hydrogen atoms which are three in number. So in this way they will satisfy the need of electrons of each of the atom. So here you can see that the nitrogen has shared one electron each with the three hydrogen atoms. This balances all the four atoms and an ammonia molecule is created. Now doing justice to our chapter, we will be studying our first carbon compound which is methane. It has a formula of CH4. Now methane is widely used as fuel in the form of biogas and compressed natural gas which is also called as CNG. Now methane is also the simplest carbon compound. Now from here you can see that carbon needs 4 electrons so as to stabilize itself. So it will share 1 electron each with the 4 atoms so as to attain stability. And in turn you can also see that hydrogen 
each hydrogen atom is sharing one electron with the carbon to gain the stability. And from this, you can say that the methane molecule is evolved. In the beginning of the chapter, we have also said that the covalent compounds are bad conductor of electricity. The reason behind this is they do not contain charged particles or ions which can conduct electricity. Now they also have low melting and boiling points because they have weak intermolecular forces. So we have seen how sharing of electron form the covalent compounds. We are going to see the other properties of carbons in our next video.